So, Victoria, exactly what is it you do? What do you mean? <laughs> he means, do you work or have a job of any kind? Oh, I see. I thought you were talking about my will do's and won't do's in the bedroom. <laughs> Wait, you actually have won't do's? Thank you so much for this. <laughs> She's a cosmetologist. And just to clear up any confusion, that is not a Russian astronaut. <laughs> Not that she couldn't be one if she really applied herself. <laughs> I work at several different funeral homes around the city. Funeral homes? Yeah. You know where they store dead people. I thought that was the symphony. <laughs> I didn't say a word and I had a wonderful time. So what you're saying is you apply makeup to the recently deceased. Tell them about the time you got really baked and made that 80-year-old woman look like the drummer in Kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah. One time, I got really baked and made this 80-year-old woman look like the drummer in Kiss. <laughs> what a great story. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much better when she tells it. You know, uh, Carl and I have been partners five years come November the 8th. Has it been five years? <laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? Nice single guy, same job for five years. It's not court mandated. <laughs> and not to embarrass him, but he's actually saved my life a couple of times. Oh, now don't be bringing that up. These girls don't need to know all about my heroics. <laughs> you gonna tell the story or not? <laughs> first time was an armed robbery at a liquor store. The owner was on the ground, out cold. While I was checking his vitals, the perp came busting out of the storeroom, gun in hand. Oh, my God. What did you do? I didn't have time to think. This guy came out of nowhere like a ninja. Or Batman. <laughs> Whatever. He knocked the gun away, cuffed the guy, barely even broke a sweat. It was the second time he saved your life. Last year's Oktoberfest, they were selling two-for-one bratwurst. <laughs> Me and three guys in leader hose and had to link arms and give them the Heimlich. Wow. You are a real hero, Officer Carl. Oh, no. A little bit. <laughs> Michael Jordan just walked by. Sweet Lord, it is. It's Jordan. I love Michael Jordan. I don't know what it is about bald black men. They're just so sexy. Michael Jordan's a punk-ass bitch. Damn, they seem to really be hitting it off. Yeah, tough break. Poor guy. Do you think there's any chance your sister give me Jordan's autograph? I think his hands are going to be kind of busy tonight. <laughs> I'll be right there, Carl! I should probably get him home. He's had kind of a tough night. But you're such a good friend to him. He'd do the same for me. Hey, after you drop him off, why don't you circle back? I don't know. He's going to want to talk for a while, and it's probably going to be pretty late. Oh, that's a shame. There's a pretty good chance you were going to get lucky tonight. What's that? Unless you think our relationship's not ready to move to the next level. Oh, no, it is. Let me dump that crybaby off. I'll be right back. Leave the door unlocked. Doesn't matter. I chew through it. 